the other end. France is with the shot, and in the melee that ensued, will Beckett and Gewurzen go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Beckett was eventually to be thrown out, a judge to be third man in, but the two of them eventually pair off. They grab each other, Beckett with some bombs with his right to start the fight off, and it looks like Gewurzen is going to struggle to get himself free and to have a go. But as you'll see, he comes back, gets some lefts in, stands up to the task, but in the end, a punch from Beckett sends him down, and that was a win for Beckett. But at that point in time, the Sheffield Steelers were leading on the scrum. A melee in front of the net, but the players that pair off are the players that just clashed on the boards. Didi Amiti and Stevie Lee, the British defenseman. The players get in your way there. We can't see this one. Move out of the way. Now we do. You'd say that Didi Amiti probably got the better punches in this fight, but credit Stevie Lee for fighting with someone who certainly is more renowned than him. He waves to the crowd as the card is number 24, Stevie Lee. Legend Yari Curry dropping the puck to the delight of everyone in the arena. A fight in the first period. New boy for Nottingham, Jason Beckett, number four, against where well, you know him well now, Adam Keith, 47 for the Giants. This one was a clear win for Keith. In fact, the linesman breaking it up, the jersey of Beckett going over his head. Keith, well, he was enjoying it. He was like the pantomime villain playing to the Nottingham crowd all weekend. He was shot off Mike Shoot. We'll try and do so. And that will go off against the ball to the end of the first period. Honours even. Ben Olsen is... No, he doesn't need to do that. Getting involved and... Doesn't need that. Pantovic, he's dealt the way. No, Jordan no, no. Fox Step is getting away. involved Step as well. Away. And now Dustin Cameron drops them. Here we go. Cameron and Jordan Fox over there in the corner. And Jordan Fox is uh, being dealt with by Dustin Cameron. Fox lands a couple now. This is a good belt over here in the corner. Fox had the upper hand in the middle of the fight after Cameron had a good one early on. They're resting away. Cameron's trying to get Fox's shirt over his head. Big shot from Fox. Cameron with an uppercut as well. This is a very enjoyable middleweight scrap. Oh, that's a big one and another. Fox lands one back. Let's just say defense isn't really the priority between these two. They were just doesn't actually hurt people. when you hit somebody's helmet, you know. Mystery. Rewind the tape, see who done it. Oh, here we go. We're gonna go. Olsen's decided he has got some. From opposite ends of the rink. Olsen against Lapin. Crowder on their feet. Squaring off. Panthers with the 1-0 lead. The Blaze looking for a spark. Olsen stepped up. Both men wait. Olsen does his hair. Now they connect. Gilepin with the bombs, Olsen gets one back, Gilepin still throwing as he goes down, now Olsen gets a few in with uh, Gilepin wrapped around his midriff, Lepin holds on, Olsen just letting him go into the side, Gilepin still holding on and in the end has the strength to pull him on the floor and Olsen still wants to go as the linesman step back in. I think we may well see part two of that later. There'll be another round to that one, oh especially as he's uh, showboating to the crowd. Gilepin slipped as he was trying to throw a bomb, went down. Olsen, to be fair to him, took advantage of it. But will he have the you know what to go again? Benedict able to clear away. Hirsch staying put for the moment. Panthers change again whenever opportunity comes. 100 seconds to go. Panthers again keep Hirsch penned in that net. Oh, good steal. 
Bolesky pushes Bennett into the ice and this time there is going to be a call. Good job by Benny. And that's the soft one. And now there's a push from Bolesky and now Francis goes in and then he's oh, jumped he by Guthrie. Oh, he throws a cheap shot. Cheap shot. And now Beckett's in as well and he'll throw a couple. And he'll get the gloves off as well. And there's a fight behind the linesman's back as well with Matt Francis by looks of it. Oh, well that's tough whoever that is. It's Guthrie. Going with Francis. Francis oh, is Franny him gets down and Francis top. ends up on oh, top. Oh, it's embarrassing when you get beat by Franny. Where to go, Matt Francis? And interesting to see Jonathan Weaver there as well, just essentially telling Jason Beckett to shut up and sit down. a big cheer from the blaze crowd Guthrie a little bit of space across to shoot who fires one over the top and there's going to be a penalty drawn there the blaze will get their first power play as David Clark touches the puck and there's a little bit of pushing and shoving David Clark is hugged from behind here we go there might be some rough stuff going on here Matt Bolesky skates away he's in there somewhere it's Shay Guthrie I think he was uh, getting involved no Guthrie skated away I possibly James yeah, Griffin, I believe it, it is was. Griffin. I believe it was James Griffin. In the space. Shot from Bradley, but it hits. And Bradley puts a slash Ooh. in and is shoved by Francis. Both well, cross checking the back there from And Lapine Francis. is still going. Egano and now Egano wants to go. Here, Here we, we go. go. Egano gets a few rights from Lapine. He'll have to respond. He can't as Lapine dump tackles him. And fair play for Mike Egano to stand up for his teammate there. But he was outmatched by the pugilistic skills of Guillaume Lapine, his first fight at the Sky Dome this year. Here come the Coventry Blaze on the wing. It's Bolesky and shoots! The second shot of the night for the Coventry Blaze. And that Sticks was very away. close then. The roar, if that had gone in, would have been special on the Panther. That's, that that is Bolesky. The and Stevie Lee wants back Bolesky. Here we go. Bolesky drops gloves and helmets, throwing right hand. Stevie Lee already. Holding on, and that's the win, Bolesky. Uh, I think we can hear the roar from the Sky Dome from that one. Oh boy, oh boy, Bolesky with a huge hit behind the net. And Stevie Lee, we were just mentioning him, and he did exactly what we'd expect of Stevie Lee there, a tough little sucky defenseman. He didn't care that he was taking on an NHLer who likes to throw the gloves on the ice and throw the fists. And that was a nice little whistle for Matt Bolesky on his debut. He's had two shots so far and a fight, and the Blaze fans love him. This game was feisty from the off. The incident here started by Graham. He got thrown out for that, for boarding. But then the players got involved from both sides. Beckett got a roughing penalty. Graham added a roughing penalty to his list of pims. Andre roughing as well. And Smith here who pairs off with Graham goes for third man in. The two of them go toe to toe for a short while. But that wasn't the end of the fighting actually. Here we see a chance in front of the net for the Nottingham Panthers. And Lovdell getting involved there, but Ling's having none of that. Skates in, and those two have a bit of a tussle. They go and they have to sit down as well with fighting majors in the first period. With
That was just a minute after becoming 2-1. Then Nottingham got feisty. Lapine took exception to some things that Stewart was doing. And he went to get this fight going. Five each for fighting. Andy Carson giving the instigator penalty for Guy Lapine. So 12 and Nottingham were leading. 3-0, 6.44 gone. Matthew Myers coming forward here. Bit of rough and tumble in front of the net. Bit of talking going on and then you see Kelsey Wilson come in he's not happy with what was going on there so Egner and Wilson have a fight this was the best fight of the night actually there's three fights tonight to show you and this one was a decent one to start off with some good punches being thrown then they started to wrestle for a while got their punches going once more and that one was over but a terrific fight between the pair of them still more to period two and the scoring continued graham there goal number 18 of the year for him five nil nottingham and then the first of the couple of bouts for guy lapine first with obson this one really was a wrestling match neither of them could get their hands free to throw any punches and obson falls on top of lapine and that one really didn't absolutely in dreamland that was the score at the end of two periods i said there was to be another fight for guy lapine here he comes face to face with egana this time lapine gets some short ones in underneath on the right side and then falls on top of egana so two fights for lapine ottingham and the steelers try and come away with the puck they can't do so they're kept in the zone by nottingham trying to win back possession now the original call there as the hand goes up by carson sees a number of players get involved it was Myers who was originally being called and all sorts of players now getting involved it ended with three from Nottingham and one from Sheffield in the box Kelsey Wilson trying to get limp right to fight and he doesn't continues the punches the linesman break this one up and then pairing up a Gertsen and Guy Lapine the Nottingham Panthers enforcer and the two of them go toe to toe and start to fight and trade blows it's a good old scrap Gertsen goes in and it continues and then Lapine goes down on top. Now Lapine got two minutes for roughing, five minutes for fighting, and two plus ten for the instigating penalty. So he had 19 minutes of players leave the ice. Ferguson comes off, Kelsey Wilson whack, two-handed slash to the ribs. We all saw it. Ferguson gets up, goes after Wilson, but it wasn't to be. The league have ruled initially a three-game suspension for that. See it again. If that's three games, well then I'm the king of China. Surely they'll have to reinvestigate. That is as bad as a slash as you will see. Off the play, Ferguson goes down. Hugely bruised ribs, red raw. Wilson gets kicked out of the game. Five and a game is conduct. Steelers was... What the Panthers fans missed was a couple of good scraps at the end of the night. De Lapine was all too much for him as well. And Chris Frank got involved. Frank's helmet's off. Lapine's helmet's going to come off now. Frank gets it off. And then they go to war on each other. Two tough, strong men. You wouldn't want to do this for a living, would you, folks? Good to watch, but not good to do. But Chris Frank, what a great job Frank did on Lapine. He thought so as well. We all thought so. We were standing up cheering him as he left the ice. And the Steelers had a new hero in Chris Frank. It wasn't there. We all thought it was going to go with Michelle and Beckett. Bit of size differential there, they kept their gloves on. But just off the play, everybody's having a push and a shove, a hack and a whack, and all of a sudden, Sean Limpright and Gallivan, they get involved and off they go. This is a cracker. Limpright hits a couple first, Gallivan comes back nice and strong. Then the helmet's off again. And once the helmets are off, Limpright just bides his time. A couple of bombs are about to come to get the win for Limpright, who had another good night for the Steelers. Just trying to get free, both of them, aren't they? And it's Limpright that gets free first, and just hammers Gallagher. Whoa. Michael Hicks and the linesman, they get involved. But again, we're on the edge of our seats, we're standing on our tiptoes, and Limpright heads to the penalty box. Victories in all areas. Mike Blaisdell called, Elvis had left the building, but he went to fetch his own puck, he created this, and it was then the shot there from Clark, Myers to the rebound, so it was 2-1, you see Griffin and Ling talking to each other, 
Well, that was just the starter, because here is the main course. They're starting to go now, just out of picture, but then they trade some big bombs there, and that fight is over. But the two of them go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But it seemed to inspire Nottingham, because they... That only 41 seconds after the first interval, and Nottingham were two goals ahead. Big hit there by Guy Lapine on new boy Scarborough for the Devils. And then we saw a tussle between Tyson Marsh, who took exception to that hit, and Guy Lapine. Marsh gave real good punches in this fight. Lapine with some rights there. Marsh coming back over the top and putting Lapine down with one there. Lapine's shirt is all ripped. He had to go off the ice and came back on in shirt number. Well, that was a goal scoring, but it had to happen, didn't it? And there's Ferguson clashing with Wilson. And this all stems from the uh, game on the 27th of December. These two just had to fight it out. Oh, what a scrap they both gave us. Two tough men, but Ferguson lands a couple of bombs and he cuts Wilson. Wilson lands on top at the end of the fight. They were both dispatched to the dressing room. They got one. Chris Frank challenging Guy Lapine. Lapine was more than willing. And the two tough men went toe to toe. Lapine standing up for his team. Frank trying to get some momentum going. Lapine, the height, weight, and reach advantage. But Frank, with a big heart, throwing everything he got into Lapine. He had every one of us standing up, cheering him on. You could tell exactly what Frank was trying to do. He was trying to get some emotion into the building, some life into the Steelers. They were 2 0 down. What could he do to help his cause? Still, the Steelers came forward. There was hacking and whacking, and we'll enjoy this one. A crackerjack of a fight coming up. Frank's in the middle of it again with Graham. Here comes Fatter and Fox. Fatter's trying to get Fox going. Fox isn't biting. And just when you think everything has kind of calmed down, keep your eye on Simon Ferguson because Ferguson and Becky go toe to toe. This is one of the great scraps. Big bombs, big bomb coming there from Ferguson. And then they both land haymakers at the same time. That knocks them both to the ground. You'll see it again in a super slow mo. This is a crackerjack of a fight between two tough men. Again, Becky with a high reach advantage. Ferguson's trying to get his team going. Look how pumped up he is as he makes his way to the penalty box. Trying to get something going for the Steelers. Watch this. Big left hand there from Ferguson. And then they both connect at exactly the same time. Two crackerjack punches that knock both players down to the ice. What commitment from both Ferguson and... First period, 6 minutes and 37 seconds gone. We had a goal and then there was a fight in the game. It was Kelsey Wilson and Tyson Marsh, the pair of them dropping the gloves. Marsh getting the first punches in with his right, really leading there and taking the fight from the off. Wilson tried to come back and the two of them just held on for a bit. And eventually the linesmen come between them, James Kavanagh and Paul Stanipoff, and they say enough is enough. And the game... <laughs> Panthers 
led the horse Stingrays in their own barn. We saw a bit of fighting. This one is Stevie Lee against Osman. The two of them coming together in front of Craig Kowalski's net. Lee getting some rights. This fight didn't last too long. Osman unable really to get his punches away. The arena knowing victory would secure them the elite league title. We had a feisty opening to the game, both sets of players getting involved, and eventually Clark and Matheson dropped the gloves. Not renowned for their fighting, Clark used to fight in his younger days in the ISL, but nowadays he's more about scoring goals and grabbing assists rather than fighting. But he put up a good show there, he shaded that one, and that was one up for Nottingham on the fight card. But then another tussle. Over in the corner, it was Wilson getting involved, and it was Rycroft too. The two of them going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This one wasn't so explosive as the Clark and Matheson fight, and the linesman getting involved there to stop that one going any further. So no goals at this stage in the game, but we have that explosive opening that maybe both sides wanted, and that exciting scoring in the first period. But surprisingly, this one got quite feisty. The Gardner Conference may well be really tight, but there's only two teams that can win the Earhart Conference, Nottingham and Belfast. So that was on the line. Here you see a cross-check from Beckett. It got him thrown out of the game. And then he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Adam Keefe. Good fight, this. Beckett getting the early punches in. Then Keefe comes back. Really was a good old-fashioned hockey fight between the two of them. Shirts coming off and... Certainly the two of them went toe-to-toe -to -toe for a good while. Nottingham got back and going on in front of the net, then down on the boards on the right-hand side, and a number of players getting involved here. Nottingham Panthers' Jordan Fox seems quite annoyed about something. Just starting to try and pair up with a few players. It was Lloyd for the Belfast Giants. Phillips is there too. A couple of punches being traded on the boards. A number of players getting involved. In the end, the penalty is being called on this situation where Wilson went to the penalty box for the Nottingham Panthers. Also Lee for the Belfast Giants. You saw Garside and Lloyd. It's Lynn getting involved here with Garside. The two of them getting involved once more. Just